Okay, so you've been asked by your veterinarian to give subcutaneous fluids, or maybe you've been asked to give a subcutaneous injection because your pet's been diagnosed with diabetes and now you gotta give insulin. Don't panic. The easiest way to give a subcutaneous injection, whether you're giving fluids or medication, is to have someone else holding the pet for you. Now, there are some common areas where we most frequently will give the injections. If we're giving subcutaneous fluids, we're typically giving it up here under the shoulder. And by subcutaneous, I guess I should mention that is under the skin. That means we're delivering the medication or the fluids underneath the skin. Other locations, really hips back here, those are really common places. Anywhere through here you can do, it's just that the pet doesn't seem, most of the time, the pets don't seem to appreciate injections in the mid torso area. They really prefer the shoulders or the hips. If your pet has a dense coat, to make it easier for yourself, use a little bit of alcohol. You can wet down their fur, and that way it makes it a little bit easier to see the skin. To deliver the medication, we pinch their skin and create a tent of skin. So you can kind of see this triangle here that's a tent of skin. The needle is then going to be inserted at a 45 degree angle at the base of the tent or the triangle. Once the needle is inserted at a 45 degree angle at the base of the tent, you pull back on the plunger to make sure that you have suction um, and make sure that that basically tells us that we're not in a vessel. And as long as you have some suction negative pressure on that syringe, then you go ahead and deliver your medication. When giving subcutaneous fluids, we're gonna insert the needle as previously described, but it's really helpful if you have somebody actually helping you so that they can hold that needle in place. Um, and then that way you've got both hands to be able to operate the bag, as well as the roller, which restricts and cuts off fluid flow. So when you're giving fluids, you undial this, which opens up this line. Then you can squeeze the bag or roll the bag, which speeds up the process. If you need any further clarification on how to give subcutaneous injections, don't hesitate to reach out. We're always happy to help you here at All Star Veterinary Clinic. Does that sound okay? All right. Good pull. I just spit. <laughs> Waddles. Wade, you're gonna kick. No, Wade, you're gonna kick the camera. Come here. Sit down. Sit. Wade, sit. Good boy.